I want each of you to take one. All right. The truth of the matter is I don't know what's in here. Um, right. They're questions of Me some neither. kind. But what they're going to contain, we don't know, and I don't take responsibility. If you were a ghost, where would you choose to haunt? Mm. See who's done me wrong. You literally have a tattoo on your finger that I just noticed. That's not real. No. Miles is a liar. Is what <laughs> I, would, I would haunt. No, no, no. That's our tour manager, Johnny. Dwelling place of Brooke, the interviewer. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the final answer. That's a great answer. Um, I like the way it involved me specifically. Um, I like the tone of voice in which you said it, and that it matched everything about you that I've learned thus far. Let's go on. <laughs> What's the drunkest you've ever been without vomiting? And I just told you guys the smiley face tattoo story. <laughs> so that's so it. So I'm going to go with that. You did great. Easy peasy. Is it the truth, though? Is that really the drunkest you've ever been without vomiting? Uh, if I was going to get that drunk, I'm probably going to vomit. Okay. okay. <laughs> so you're, you're a puker is what we know. Yeah, I mean, not really. He doesn't get that drunk normally. Yeah. Who gets the drunkest? Mm, of the four well, of you. I mean, don't, don't throw it on your tour manager again. I've had my fair share of drunken nights. <laughs> he knows but who I'm he a good is. Boy now. <laughs> okay. What's your stance on furries, for or against? It's a great question. Well, I don't really have opinions on furries in particular, but I think that I think I kind of live my life in a way to where I believe that you know whatever floats your boat, that's fine with me. Do I want to be involved necessarily? No, but I don't think anyone's asking me to be anyways. <laughs> so I don't have a problem with it. But if they were asking you to be involved, yes or no? Depends how much I love the person. Okay. Like if my girlfriend of seven years came home one day and was like, all of a sudden I'm really into this, I'd have a, a reckoning on my hands. <laughs> You'd have to think about it at the very least. Great answer. Uh, I got name one actual word in the lyrics of Mbop by Hanson. Are you familiar with that song? Say, does Mbop count? Is no. That not? Obviously not. Yeah. Is a word. <laughs> I think that might be one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're looking at me like I know the answers. I simply do not. I never even read these questions. There's got to be, yeah. Yeah, should we do the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't that was know really good. Words, okay, yeah. one more gentleman. If we give you a, a dollar for every <laughs> packet of duck sauce you drink with an infinite maximum, how many would you drink? Please be prepared to back this up. So this is an important, it, this one needs context. So <laughs> somehow in this office, we have acquired and accumulated like seven to 900 Careful packets of duck sauce. So that's how that came about. And so what I'm letting you know is careful. <laughs> I'd probably drink like, I don't know, five duck sauces for five bucks. You like, okay. That look good? That's what five <laughs> bucks means to you. <laughs> right, that'd be pretty easy. I'm not trying to drink like, over 20. That's an interesting answer. But anything less than 20, you'd be willing to... <laughs> I'm going to stay with my five. Five for five, you know. Five for five. I'm not going to make you back it up. Thank you. Because I'm not sure which drawer they're in. But if I did remember, then you would. Um, good for you for knowing yourself. Uh, would you rather eat an entire roast chicken in one sitting or one tiny cricket? <laughs> well... It's a stupid question. I love it. <laughs> I actually don't eat meat, so I'm going to go with, uh, I guess, if, if I'm, I'm going to take the lesser of two evils, I'll eat the tiny cricket. The tiny cricket. Okay. What if he's alive? It's one so cricket. We all eat. How yeah. many spiders are we supposed to eat in our lifetime? Like seven or eight? supposedly a myth. Yeah, but it's also mm. probably kind of true. <laughs> okay. I've definitely had cricket before. It's like the, not alive. It's the kind that you're like meant to eat. But yeah, I mean, it's like, I'm fine with that. I'm okay. a little freaky. Okay. <laughs> he's a little freaky. You heard it here first. Okay, I got... Talk me down from this ledge. Mm, great one. Get down from that ledge. <laughs> <laughs> this, You're an improv genius. Hey. I wish you would step back from that ledge, my Everybody friend. Everybody jump in. Oh, they're this is actually a great yeah, yeah, time yeah, to yeah, mention yeah. that Stephen Jenkins from Third Eye Blind was at our show oh, at the World Tour in the other day. Stephen That's exciting. Jenkins. Jenkins. Can you juggle? Can you juggle? Can you juggle? Can you juggle? Uh, I don't like that for you. I don't like that for you. you. Want, give me something to juggle. Oh, yeah. Whoa, it takes a turn. <laughs> I'm nervous. Are you yeah, guys you nervous? got this, dude. I believe in you. Can you sing Step Back from the Ledge while he does it? Oh. I wish you step, step, step Back, back from, from the Ledge, ledge my oh. friend. <laughs> Nailed it. 
You could uh, cut ties to all the lies that you've been living in. Da, da, I don't remember. I wanted to help you and I couldn't remember the and words. And if you do not want to see me again. <laughs> I would understand. Yeah, okay, I remember. Wish I remember you would step back from that ledge, my friend. We uh, could cut ties to all the lies that <laughs> we've been living yeah. in. And if you do not want to see yep. me again, Get I would understand. 